Hello everyone, this is Andrew Kimmins with Kimmins Toolworks again, and it has been a little while since I've made a video. Just a lot of, a lot of complicated things in life, but that's not why I'm making this video. I'm making this video because I have kind of a, a groundbreaking new thing. At least it is for me anyway. It's a big deal. So, CPM Magna Cut chisels. I know I'd mentioned that probably in a video before or in a post before, but it hadn't happened up until officially yesterday. So, <clears throat> I have the first CPM Magna Cut chisels, and that's significant for at least one, one reason. Um, CPM Magna Cut, being a CPM steel, which stands for Crucible Particle Metallurgy, which is also, you know, like CPM M4, same thing, crucible particle metallurgy. It is a particle metallurgy steel. And what they do essentially is they blend the alloy and then they, they make it into a powder essentially, like while it's mixing, use a nitrogen jet and just blow it into a perfectly homogenous powder and then they take that powder and then they forge it in a a, 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 high, a hot isostatic press which is like a giant hydro hydraulic press where they heat it up and they forge it together into one solid thing and so uh, it makes the steel perfectly homogenous that way there's no segregation whatsoever I mean in a normal steel during the process of cooling you can have segregation of the alloy and especially when you have a high alloy content, like a, a steel like A2, you're not gonna have that a whole lot, or a steel like O1, you're not gonna have that. But if you try and take an alloy like CPM M4 and do it that way, it's at high risk of the, the constituents separating out, segregating out. And that just makes for a lot of problems. So CPM steels do not have that. That is not to say that CPM steels are perfect by any means, but they are a metallurgically a huge leap forward for humanity. So uh, it's a win for all of us, even those of us who aren't blade nerds. They just don't realize it. So uh, a lot of a lot of CPM parts go to space, you know. But yeah, the first CPM Magna Cut woodworking chisels that I know of. I mean, there may be some others out there, but, and this is a four piece set for a customer. And the cool thing about Magna Cut is with this steel, you're gonna be getting the edge retention and the performance very similar to CPM M4. But what I'm noticing with the current heat treating procedures that I'm using is I'm getting a sharper edge than with CPM M4. And this is stainless. This is, an, this is a stainless steel, which th that's significant because stainless steel and tools don't mix. I mean, I know everybody has stainless steel knives, things like that. Those are for cutting and they're very, very prone to chipping. <clears throat> Woodworking chisels have a lot of stresses that a knife's not supposed to have, which is why there aren't stainless chisels on the market because if you took an alloy like CPM S30V or something like that, like a, a stainless alloy or 20CV, any of the really popular stainless knife alloys, and you made woodworking chisels out of those, you would find that unless you're doing delicate cutting, um, it would not be ideal. It's not a tool steel, it's a knife steel. See, Magna Cut crosses those boundaries a little bit. It breaks rules. Magna Cut breaks rules. Like rock solid metallurgical rules that everybody has operated by for a very, very long time. Magna Cut breaks those. And the thing is, it took me a while to admit that because I had to find the heat treatment procedures that made it shine in all the ways it was supposed to shine. And, you know, I did, it just took a while. And I'm not one to buy into hype. Magna Cut's been around for a few years and it's like everybody has their raging hype moments and it's, you know, God's gift to, 
the world of metallurgy and like, okay, whatever, you know, the next, it's the next thing. But it kind of, kind of warrants that kind of attention. It's, it's very unique. It's very unique. And who doesn't want a stainless chisel? I mean, you don't have to oil these things. Even if they get wet. They're not going to rust. They're never going to patina. They're never going to get pitting. These things, and especially in a configuration like this, where you have a, stabil a stabilized curly maple handle and CPM MagnaCut, you could put these suckers in a barn, and in 300 years, they're probably not going to look any different. I mean, the end cap and the socket are stainless steel. <clears throat> This, these, these stabilized handles are just impervious to the season, seasonal cycling, moisture, humidity. It's just, it'll be like this in 300 years. So that's kind of what's cool is that I've really oriented myself to building tools that will stand the test of time and not just last a lifetime, but last a lifetime for you and then for whoever you hand them down to and continue going and <clears throat> they uh it's definitely definitely a significant day that there are cpm magna cut chisels i made the scrapers in them because i i ran them I, I do run it maybe a little bit softer in the scrapers but i had to get that that extra hardness that i like in the chisels without giving up toughness and that balance was achieved so I'm very, very happy about that. And actually, it's cheaper to work with than CPM M4. So you can get the Magna Cut even cheaper than M4. And pretty, it's pretty significant, actually. Uh, the M4 was, it's so abrasion resistant because of the alloy content that it's very difficult to work with. And so, yeah. There's also some 16th sizes in here. Like this is a 5 16ths. I do make 5 16ths. Then we have a 3 8 and a quarter for the first Magna Cut set. I'll zoom down here a little bit so everybody can see what's going on. But Magna Cut, these are A2. But they're Coca Bolo, and everybody loves Coca Bolo. I know I love Coca Bolo, and this actually, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but Coca Bolo is my go to exotic wood. If anybody wants a wood that's not this, since this is kind of the base model, the, the not with the Magna Cut, but the, the base handles are stabilized curly hard maple. And if somebody wants exotic, my first recommendation is always Coca Bolo. Coca Bolo is very stable and it's, it's, it's a very good handle material. As always, you can pretty much get whatever you want. But Ebony is another really good one. Ebony costs more to work with because I lose a fair amount of Ebony in the drying process. It is very cracky, and it, it has to be dried very slowly and very carefully. And no matter how slowly and carefully, some of it gets lost in the drying process. But it is a beautiful material. Ebony makes beautiful tools. <clears throat> An A2, that'll always be the standard blade steel because it's well, it's definitely more economical but it's also an extremely good blade steel i mean if it has some corrosion resistance properties for sure it's like five percent chromium but it's it's one that you still have to keep oiled for sure but it takes an edge the the way that i have found the heat treat A2 and what works best for woodworking chisels in general. The A2 takes a, a crazy edge, just a, a ridiculously sharp edge, and I like that. 
and it it's one of those that's easy to sharpen as well it's not it's not a burden to sharpen the magna cut's definitely a little bit harder to sharpen but <clears throat> if you go back to the the honing video that i made and follow those procedures like if you use dmt diamond plates and you use arkansas stones then magna cut even m4 you know really abrasion resistant steels like that it's not that different i mean kind of everything when you're dealing with diamond everything kind of hones very similar um it's negligible because diamond is so much harder than pretty much any steel you're going to put on it it it's just no big deal the difference is not significant so if anybody wants chisels and cpm magna cut, and it looks like too it looks like i can even do framers in cpm magna cut now uh, that is ridiculously cool framing especially because i mean outside you'd be able to have framing chisels that don't rust like that's and with stabilized curly maple handles would be almost entirely impervious to the elements and to water like you could literally leave them out in the rain and they would just bring them in wipe them off so magna cut for the framers is a big thing i can do the pairing chisels dovetail chisels and magna cut bench chisel all the all the normal stuff i can't currently do mortise chisels in any of the cpm steels and that's because i can't get the stock to start with and if i ever do that'll change but as of now those are just available in a2 which is more than adequate at 63 rockwell and uh <clears throat> yeah so if anybody wants cpm magna cut chisels or pretty much anything anything else any any of the other couple hundred different things that i make email andrew at kimmonshandtools.com and let me know what you're looking for and i normally get back i try to get back same day but sometimes it takes me a few days to get back to people um my email gets overwhelmed it's like cycles of it and with spam and all that crap there's a, there's a lot of crap to sort through but i try and get to everybody as quickly as i can and manage my life and, and get my work done so i also wanted to tell everybody if you if you still want one of the magna cut scrapers just email me i'm not doing any big big runs on them at the moment but those and the same with the knives either magna cut or a2 you can get those still and i also brought these over here to show everybody kind of how the handles for the draw knives look before they're finished and made into draw knives and they're basically just just that and these right here i cut these grooves in there and then they get epoxy resined into the handles and that just holds it that way it can't pull off but i got some draw knives that'll be going together i have some framing chisels that need to go together and i'll definitely i'll do a video with the, the framers and and stuff so that way everybody can can see those because the framers are cool i i need to i need to make some i've been planning on making some for myself haven't got to it actually have no use for them whatsoever so it's kind of hard to justify that so anyway i hope everyone has a great day out there do you need anything andrew at kimmonsandtools.com let me know what you're looking for we can talk about it i can do quotes over email and yeah have a good one and i'll see you next time